we will be building some enclosures. Okay, hello. Today we'll be cutting out some styrofoam. Because, as you saw in one of my videos about the expo, I've gotten some terrariums, you can see them right there. That one, the small one. I'll be making backgrounds for them. With that expanding foam and such. But I'll be making it on top of a styrofoam foam plate. Because that way it's safer. Because if I uh, put the expanding foam in a terrarium, they end up not liking it, then I'm kind of fucked, you know? So, uh, yeah. These should be 50 by 50, so I'll double check that. Alright, we finished cutting the styrofoam to shape. Took a little while, took some trial and error to get the measurements right. Because the outer side is 30 by 25, but the inside isn't, so I had to adjust a little bit on that. And yeah, the bottom isn't going to be visible because it's under the substrate, so yeah. But we got there, and it's looking hella nice already. Okay, so I cut my pieces of styrofoam to shape. Some complications I can put. If you make it 30, it won't fit like this. So what I did was I put like half a centimeter of the sides, and now it fits fine. What I also did was I took out five centimeters the bottom so I can just move it up and you know this will be filled up to here with substrate anyway so you won't even see it so now they fit fine so these are like the extreme measurements now and this is width is, is like no wider so I'm gonna spray expanding foam on this and I'll put like some core bar pieces on here to make it look cool and then I'll carve off anything that exceeds this border. And I'll just carve a cool shape into it, cover it in silicon, press cocoa fiber in it, not on the core bar pieces, of course. And I'll probably have some awesome looking backgrounds. So, yeah. Got eight of these now for eight pyrariums. Awesome. Let's move to the small ones. Let's get to it. And there we have it, all the styrofoam is cut for all the enclosures. On to the next step. Foam and clockwork.
I run out of foam, so I'll do the rest some other time. But this is what you have so far.
Okay guys, thanks for watching. This was a month long progress as I kept going on holidays in between this and I could never finish it. But finally today I planted the plants and the backgrounds are all finished. There's cork bark hides. So soon we'll be able to move the teas in as soon as the plants were in a bit. So yeah, exciting stuff. I've got two more to do for some other teas, but that's the main part done. So I'll be doing an update on the trancher room soon and giving you guys some updates in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it wasn't too boring, I tried to cut the boring parts out of it, but it's still pretty lame I suppose, <laughs> but yeah, these are the enclosures I made, they don't look that great, but I think for a first try they look awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, peace.